Well, I'm very excited to join the bank. I, uh, I know that uh, this is a very prestigious institution. I also recognize that uh, this is also a challenging time for the bank to change and to respond to the um, to the new need of the clients. And I think the issue of development is also still very, very uh, challenging to all of us, academically as well as uh, as a policy maker. And that's why uh, now if you recognize a lot of new issues like the global uh, climate change, we also look at even energy and food security issue. These are all becoming a new environment for the bank to become more relevant, but at the same time, they should really result-oriented institution. So I'm ready to use all my experience as the finance minister, as the development policy maker, in this case, in a very diverse and complex country like Indonesia, to join this bank. And I do hope I can contribute uh, and make a lot of uh, new contribution, productive contribution here. Well, uh, even if you can't call a country as a middle-income country, in fact, you still have uh, quite a huge or uh, level of poverty which is uh, high enough. And this is create a very uh, challenging policy task for any policymaker, because on one hand, you have modern sector, capital market, uh, modern infrastructure, but you still have an issue on a governance, you also have an issue on an institutional capacity, and also the poverty itself, in which you need to have a comprehensive policy response. And this is, I think, uh, the area which for the bank is very relevant, because the more you are going to serve the client, in this case, moving from the low to middle income country, you also have to be able to adjust in terms of the way you operate. And the bank with many of the country director and regional operation, I think they have all the advantage to, to, to know better and to serve better in this case. We have a, quite a change in the geopolitical and geoeconomy, especially in the past uh, decade. Uh, the composition of the economy in terms of the player now is no longer dominated by the old rich country, but it's now the emerging country role is very, very important. But at the same time, the pressing issue regarding uh, removing or reducing the poverty is still become an outstanding issue. So in this case, under the new current uh, geopolitical and geoeconomic uh, situation, the bank need to recognize this. The voice of middle income country, developing country need to be recognized. But at the same time for the middle income country to also show not only just demanding the voice and the vote, but also their responsibility and uh, contribution to shaping the new global economy. So in this case, I think this is a very important time for the bank, especially uh, looking and shaping the new global economy. Everybody knows that globalization cannot be avoided, but we can make this globalization is more uh, friendly and uh, also care about the risk uh, especially for the low income and emerging country because they are not always have the capacity to manage the consequence of globalization. Well, uh, I think banks have a very, very uh, huge advantage of having uh, operation all over the world. This is a combination which is very important in which the headquarter pulling all the talent and the skill and also a good uh, academician who work here to think uh, techno technocratically. But at the same time, you also have a lot of staff on a regional and country, which is recognized the diversity of how this country operate. And this is all the combination which can be actually strengthened in terms of improving uh, the bank performance, especially to make it more relevant, as I said. But most importantly, I think bank is willing to now listen to the client more which I think this is very, very important development for uh, the bank, especially uh, to achieve the goals of uh, serving the client better, efficient and more efficient. And that will make uh, the World Bank becoming more and more relevant, especially under a very changing uh, uh, and challenging time globally. So I think this is very important uh, for uh, the bank as well as the client to have a good communication. And the term that they are communicate is also a, a very productive and based on trust and respect. And these are all the principles which I think is very important to develop further.